So the test for triglycerides for fats and oils is going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing. This is a simple piece of paper that I took out of an Amazon uh, package. You know, the, the wrapping paper that they use. You could also use things like a paper bag. What we're going to do is we're going to take each of these foods and we're going to put a spot above the labels and we're going to let them dry. Now, if there's no triglycerides, no fats and oils in this um, food material, the spot will disappear. But the presence of fats is going to make the paper kind of translucent and shiny. Kind of like when you spill an oil on a t-shirt and it's almost impossible to get off. You've got that spot. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to spot on some uh, food products and positive and negative controls and let it dry. So here are the spots. And really all I'm doing is just basically taking my finger and just sort of taking it and dotting that food product right on there. So what we have is we have our positive control, which is gonna be oil. We've got our negative control, which is gonna be water. And we have all the other uh, controls that we've been using, glucose, sucrose, starch, and egg whites. And then of course we have all of our food products. So we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back and see which spot disappears, which would indicate that there is no fat or oil in that food product, and which spot becomes shiny. All right, everybody, you can see the results from the fat assay that we just did. Um, we let it, I let it dry for a few hours and you can see that there is some spots, uh, a little bit of discoloration for the starch. Uh, that's kind of unusual. That may actually be some kind of contamination of the water. Uh, but you can see that there's definitely a shiny spot here for the egg and definitely a nice, huge, shiny spot for oil. And that's our positive control of the oil. We take a look at potato, apple, and onion. We don't really see much in the way of fat. And then we come down here and we take a look at, there's a little bit in milk. Uh, that's nothing unusual actually, because there are some fats that are in milk. Milk are a good source of certain uh, fatty acids and lipids. Take a look at the peanut butter, just chalk filled. And that's not surprising because this is natural peanut butter. And the first thing I had to do before I made that peanut juice is I had to stir the oil back into the peanut butter. Unknown number one has a fair amount of fat. And then if you turn around and look at unknown and unknown two and unknown three, I'm not really seeing any discoloration. So it's a very simple test for uh, fats. All you have to do is spot the particular liquid onto a piece of brown paper, crumpled if you have it, uh, and see if it dries a clear or if it gives a shiny residue. So that takes uh, care of our garage lab on the identification of organic macromolecules. We'll see you back in the garage for another laboratory.